Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is iOS 9 Gold Master, or GM. You may have seen this online in other places as well, but this is the Gold Master, which means it's ready to go and ready to go on people's devices. It comes out on the 16th, and assuming they don't find any issues between now and then, this is going to be the final release. Uh, they've only found it, I think, once in the past. So basically, What's new on this version compared to beta 5 that they had is really not much at all. It's pretty stable. I have noticed some differences though as far as speed. There is also another feature I wanted to set up, but let's quickly go over some of the new features and then we'll talk about what I've noticed on this newer version. I'll go more in depth in a final review when iOS 9 is fully available. Now this is available for all iPhones from iPhone 4S on up. It's also available for all, all iPads from iPad 2 on up. So pretty much everything can benefit from this update and it should really speed things up. This is more of the focus of this update. They've updated some background things. They've implemented some new graphics processing using some new code called metal. There's a lot of different things going on behind the scenes, but let's take a look. One of the new features is Hey Siri is an, a feature that's always on and you can configure that. You go to general, then you find Siri and under Siri, there's allow Hey Siri. So let's turn that on and we'll set it up. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. Hey Siri, it's me. So now it's done. Siri will recognize your voice when your iPhone is connected to power and you say, hey Siri. So sorry to all of you that are watching this and hopefully I didn't activate your phone. So it's a little bit more accurate as far as waking it up now. It's more responsive to your voice instead of everybody else's voice, which is a really nice change. One of the other updates is news. Now I've had this app on here for a while and there's this news app and news is basically just a news aggregator and it's their way of doing it. Now I haven't actually checked it out on this particular version, the gold master, and you can see it finally loaded here, but it had been crashing for the past couple versions. So it should be working well here. And actually my website Zolotech is on here as well. You can see right here it'll load. I may need to update some things, but here's all of my content too. If you're not seeing it on YouTube. They've updated the notes app and in notes, we'll go into notes. Uh, you can do a few more things and it says do star Wars, how to for iMovie. I'm not sure who did that. Maybe one of my kids or something, but that could be pretty neat. But now in here, you can add a few things. You can change a lot more. You can scribble, you can draw in here and save it and it will save in here. So you can do a lot more things with notes this time around. Maps now has transit and search information. I'm not going to show any of that, but when you search in here in the search, you can actually show map information and things in here as well. So there's a lot of different suggestions. So if maybe I say Apple, see what it comes up with. So it recommends the Apple store calling them and going to Apple wallet. Apple wallet is another new app that allows you to basically store your information. Now it basically takes the place of passbook and has a lot more information in there as well. So that's really nice. Also, they've also added iCloud drive. It's a way to access all of your data that's stored on iCloud using the iCloud application. Nothing really new there, but it's got a new icon basically that you can use to find all of your files stored by everything that uses iCloud. One thing that a lot of people will be happy about is you're supposed to get about an hour more of battery life with this version and using the beta, I'd have to say that's, that's probably true. There's also a low power mode that, that drops it really drops off all the antennas and things like that and tries to help save you a lot of power stops checking for mail, things like that, and gives you a lot more information last six hours and the last six hours basically that's because that's how long i've had it on here but had i had this a couple days i could see more history of information as far as how much battery was being used etc beyond that i've noticed it's much faster with multitasking uh, everything is actually quick now for the most part i really haven't had any issues there and if i have multitasking up on my ipad 
maybe I go in on my iPad and go into Safari, they should connect and actually show it here in a little bit. And that's handoff that pops up in here if I have it open. Now I do have my iPad here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Now, if you have an iPad, you'll have a couple different features. The iPad Air 2 gets a little bit more features, and you've also got the iPad Pro coming out. But if we slide in from the side now, we can have multiple apps. So if I pull down, we've got all these different applications. Everything's nice and fluid, but maybe I want to go into find friends or tips or whatever. We can tap on tips, bring that in. And then if I turn this sideways, wait for it here. Oh, maybe I have to pop this out and then turn it sideways there we go we'll turn it sideways and then bring this in there's tips if I hold right here I can make it in the center now this is only available on iPad Air 2 we can also play videos at the same time also so I can run a video have it in the bottom here picture in picture which is really nice as well now aside from this multitasking on the iPad we also have a keyboard option now if I put two fingers down I can actually scroll right here a lot easier and get more finite precision where I want to actually type. So it's really nice to be able to do that as well. So that's just a couple little updates they've added. Now, as far as the remainder of things, the iPhone has felt pretty fast to me. It's, it's really much, much better than it was on the betas. I've noticed a significant speed improvement. Things seem to be working better. My phone often found itself in landscape for some reason, and now it seems to not be doing that. So that's a nice little fix, which is you expect bugs from betas, but it's nice to not be able to have that issue. Search is much faster here, and everything just seems to be a little bit quicker. I was going to different websites. Uh, typing is much faster. There's just a lot better enhancements going on here. So that's pretty much it. I really haven't seen anything really new in the Gold Master, but maybe you've found something. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you're on Android, there's a now going to be an Android migration app to help you move over to iOS. So should you want to move or you have an Android phone and you're thinking of moving, it's a lot easier to do that, I guess, with that app. We'll take a look at that in a different video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions or comments or things you've found, let me know there as well. Please like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.